Hi, everyone. Welcome to my studio. I'm Ann Hine, Embroidery Software Specialist for Junomi America. And today I wanted to talk to you about setting your color palette. Um, if you've played around with the software a little bit, you know the color palette shows up in your workspace and you can use the drop down and change it. But there are ways to set up the color brands that you use and organize them the way you would like them organized. So let me open my software and show you how you go about doing that. With my software open on the welcome page, you can go up to, on a Mac, you would go under artistic to preferences and it would open this window here. If you were on a PC, you would go to tools and then options from the top toolbar and it would open the same window. So if you look here, you'll see palette order. And when you click on palette order, yours will be alphabetized in a different order because I've played around with mine. And what you can do is you can find your um, favorite or default thread that you want to use. And when you find it, put a little uh, check mark over under default so you have that. And then any of the ones that you, that you have yourself, if you own other brands and you might switch between brands at any point, um, you wanna check those off. So that's what's all in the blue here. And then what you can do, if you want to move them around, say I want to bring this up near the top or I'm at the top, see how these are all in a different order. If I wanted them in a different order, let's say I wanted my uh, ice accord to be closer to the top, like right here. So I could click on it and drag it just like that and move it up in the list so they're all together. So any of the ones that I've ch chosen in blue will show up on my workspace when I open my palette. So let's go do that. I'm gonna go to create new. I'm going to put a design in here and select it. Now I have it selected and my properties are not showing but I want you to know if you right click up in here, you can turn on your colors and then you can get your properties the same way. So they're on a little toggle down here, I can toggle between them. So in my colors, you'll notice the first one is Janome because that was my default. And when I click the down, I can see all those other ones that are in my list. And that's as far as they go. I don't have every color brand available to me, only the ones I want, which makes it easier if you're searching for something now, you can put your favorite ones near the top, make it much easier to work with it. When you have your color palette open, I have it with the pencil, which means the outline and the bucket, which means the fill, but you may like it in color chips. And if it's in color chips, the uh, upper part here, that's the outline and the filled part of course is the fill. And you can see it's hard, but my cursor changes from the little pencil to a bucket in there. So if you, and it also gives the color number. You can search for a color. Let me go back to, uh, whoops, not that one. Let me go back to here. You can search for a color number if you know it. So uh, maybe I want 225. I can put that in there and it will bring up 225 for me and I could change the color of my piece like that. So that makes it very easy. All right, everyone, let me go back here. And here we go. All right. So if you have further questions, please feel free to reach out to us over on our full support page, Genomi Artistic Digitizer. It's the one with the blue banner. We have lots of uh, support over there, videos, worksheets, and inspiration for you. Enjoy playing with your software and make sure you check out our Facebook page. Bye for now.